Hello everyone and welcome to our first video. Video number one is going to be all about reviewing cells and understanding what it means to be a living thing. Remember the cell theory? It's kind of a big deal. Theories are a big deal in science because they confirm a certain hypothesis over and over again. So remember the cell theory took over 200 years to be complete and it involved many different scientists and many different types of technology. But a theory is not a guess. Instead, it's a very reliable source and explanation of the natural world. The cell theory is one of the most important theories in biology. Remember, the word bio means life. So everything about biology has to be connected to living things. The cell theory is very important in biology because cells help scientists classify different species into the right categories. This information has helped scientists organize and classify living things. It has helped them create scientific names for every species on Earth that we know of. It has also helped them create very detailed trees of life. Do you remember what the cell theory says? It has three parts. One, the cell is the basic unit of life. Two, all living things are made of cells. And three, cells come from pre-existing cells. Now we're going to review the levels of organization in biology. Now the first two levels are atoms and molecules. Atoms are a basic chemical element and molecules are two or more atoms. These two levels are not considered living. It's when we get to level three that cells come in. And again, based on the modern cell theory, cells are the basic unit of life. If it has just one cell, it's considered living. There are actually many different species on Earth that are made of just one cell. Many of these are bacteria. This branch of biology is called taxonomy. Taxonomy is the science of naming and grouping different types of life forms. So again, the cell theory is very important because it helps scientists with taxonomy. The branch of biology that deals with naming and grouping organisms. The last thing we're going to discuss in this video is what does it mean to be a living thing? Biologists typically ask four questions. Number one, does it have a nucleus in its cells? Number two, is it unicellular or multicellular? Number three, how does it get food? And number four, how does it reproduce? So over the next few videos, we are going to be discussing these topics and how they relate to the classification of life. I hope this review video helps and you stay tuned for the next videos.